All right, our next guest is a comedian, father, storyteller, actor, best-selling author, podcast host. Did I leave a lot of I know, right? Okay, okay. <laughs> now Mike Birbiglia is adding a two-time Broadway playwright to the list with his newest show, The Old Man and the Pool, and he's here to tell us all about it. Mike, welcome. Thank you for coming Oh, thanks in. for having me. We were just talking about your schedule. You've got a lot going on. Eight shows a week. Yeah, up, yeah. Read at Lincoln Center. So I should say congratulations, because I was just reading the show has been extended for two more weeks. Yes, into January, January 15th. 15th. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. And this happened with your first Broadway show as well. How does it feel? It feels great. I was um, I was so excited because the other night uh, Nathan Lane came to the first performance mm -hmm. and he presented my first show here, mm. which was called Sleepwalk with Me in 2008. Wow! And he uh, and he's he's come to all five of my shows. I've done five of these five. things. There are these sort of like solo mm -hmm. shows that are filled with jokes, but ultimately have sort of like a kind of like a heartwarming sort Meaning. of arc to them. Yeah. 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 And you posted something beautiful on Instagram about him, right? I mean, like, you really, like, you thanked him yeah, in a major way. It was really, really sweet. I feel like if we're lucky in life, we end up with teachers or mentors oh, yes. that, that are generous with us, and, mm -hmm. and he was that to me, and then he ended up, uh, my wife and I have been married 14 years. He was, he and his now husband, Devlin, were our witnesses at City Hall. Oh, wow. And then That's we were great. their witnesses at City so Hall. You guys have a special thing That's a great on. bond. Yeah. City Hall yeah. buddies. That's awesome. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. Um, we just mentioned Instagram. I saw another post on Instagram. Tom Hanks kind of doing his little impression oh, oh, um, yeah. of you backstage. I'm, I'm curious for a comedian, you know, when you're up on stage and you know Nathan Lane's in the audience, you know Tom Hanks is in the audience. I mean... Is that even in the in your mind at all? You know, it's funny you should say that. I actually said, th when Tom Hanks came the other day, and I'm in this movie with him called A Man Named Otto that comes out at Christmas. That's a mm -hmm. wonderful movie. Looks the, great. The, the script made me cry, and I just, I can't wait for it to come out. But I think I used to be more aware of it when I was doing my first show, Sleepwalk With Me. Is there a critic? Is there a celebrity? Mm -hmm. But now at a certain point you go like, well, it's a theater experience. The whole thing is, I'm, I'm, Giving a series of jokes mm -hmm. and stories, and it's uh, to to those people. Right. And I have to just focus on doing and that. Doing your job, yeah. That makes so sense. I've gotten a little better at it, but it also like it, yeah. I can't say it doesn't cross my mind. Right. I know. <laughs> it's kind so, of wild. I love it. Yeah, In the yeah. show, you tell a lot of stories about your daughter Una. Yes. So talk to me about this silly bracelet. I heard she had some interesting ideas about what the family meetings are for. <laughs> she was so not, show people at home. Oh, it's my oh, silly it's bracelet. Actually a silly yeah, bracelet. I don't even know if this camera <laughs> will catch it. She, there you go. She made me this beaded bracelet and says, silly. She goes, Dad, it's to remind you to be silly. And I was like, oh, <laughs> thank God. Because we all do need Wait, a reminder. I love and, that. Uh, I love that. Yeah, she she and she is, I would say that's her defining characteristic. She, she goes, Dad. You have yellow teeth. And I go, I try not to think about it. And, uh, and then she picks up her cat puppet, Meow Meow Meow, and goes, those are the yellowest teeth I haven't <laughs> seen. And then I'm trying not to laugh, because I love that Una's funny, but I don't want her to be an insult comic right. and a ventriloquist. <laughs> so you're, like, trying to shape her in the right direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mike, you know, in the 90s, it seemed like one-man shows were so hot. You had, like, Eric Bogosian. You had John sure. Leguizamo. And now you're doing these one-man shows, but it seems like you're sort of like in your own space. Was it hard to get the show off the ground and, and, and to get it produced and everything else? It's so funny. Like, I, I got obsessed with this format of, of solo shows because I've always loved movies and plays, and I love stand-up, and so I've merged them over the years. And, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I've just been really lucky. This is my fifth one. It's my second one that's gone to Broadway, and, and I, I find the audience, it's very personal. Like, it's an autobiographical yeah. story about my own health, and think about mortality and life and death. And I feel like if people can come to a show and they can laugh for 80 minutes about the darkest topics, mm -hmm. like the saddest things, mm -hmm. and they can laugh and they can see something of themselves mm -hmm. in that, then they, they're happier afterwards. Right. Yeah. What an art Connect. to be able yeah. to even do that. That's great. Beautiful. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm supposed to say bye, and I'm, like, staring at you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm intrigued. I want to check out the show. I'm sure she knew. I know. Do. It's the I want to see it. It's old, The Old Man in the Pool. It's playing through now, January 15th, at the Vivian Beaumont Theater right here in New York City. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.